Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today, well, we're going to take a quick look at my favorite headsets for 2023 and give you my opinions on what I think you might should buy during this holiday buying season. So you guys know I am a VR enthusiast like for the last 25 years. I've got so many headsets back here, it's not even funny. I think we're up to like 29 headsets in the studio now. So I'm not gonna say I'm an expert by any means, but yeah, my opinion should hold a little weight on which ones are the best ones out there. And currently, I'm gonna tell you there's only two. There's only two that I'm gonna recommend. I'm gonna show you three, but I'm gonna show you the third one because I'm gonna kind of caution you against it. Now, we'll start with that. So so the third one I wanted to bring up is the Quest 2 and, and the reason that I mention this is, is you guys are probably seeing some incredible sale deals out there. I think you get this for like $249, but I don't recommend it and here's why. It, it is still a very capable and good headset, but I think it's going to get forgotten pretty quick as developers start moving on to develop for Quest 3. And, you know, the, the chipsets are just so underpowered compared to the new Quest 3, it's not even funny. And I have a feeling that, you know, over the next year, a lot of developers are gonna start pushing towards making their apps more Quest 3 friendly, which is, you know, gonna, you know, obviously use the power of the XR2 chipset, which is gonna kinda leave this one in the dust. And I have a feeling based on track record that Meta will probably abandon this pretty quick once that happens. So yes, you can get this as an incredible deal. Yes, it is still a great entry into virtual reality. It's going to be real tempting for your kid who wants to play Roblox asking, oh, can I get a VR headset? And you're going to see this for 200 bucks and you're going to think, oh man, that's great. But down the road, you're probably gonna be sorry when it loses that support and you feel like you've got a paperweight. Now, with that said, I'm definitely gonna recommend the Quest 3. And I gotta tell you, since I've been using this headset, it has been a game changer for me. I, it has got the best of all three worlds. You've got standalone mode. I mean, you know, definitely with the new XR2 chipset, we're starting to get PC quality experiences from the headset, like as we've seen with the recently released Assassin's Creed Nexus or Asgard's Wrath. I, you know, I mean, these games are really pushing boundaries for what this is capable of. And you've also got the mixed reality mode, which is new and fresh and cool, and you're doing things in your own home. And, you know, that's really opening the eyes of a lot of people who weren't, say, gonna be comfortable in VR because it's isolating and you got a box on your head and you can't see what's around you. My, my own family included, they, they've watched me do this for like nine, 10 years now, and they've never really felt 100% comfortable in the headset because it blocks them out from their reality. Well, mixed reality changes that and brings the game to you in your own home. So that's two of the modes. Well, the third mode is gonna be PC VR. So if you do have a high-end system, you're gonna be able to connect this via the link cable, virtual desktop, or wireless air link, and get those super cool experiences like Half-Life Alex. And you know, it, it is mind blowing. Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator looks great and runs great in this thing over the link cable if you've got a high enough end PC. So if you are in that mid range budget, okay, you, you definitely can't go wrong with the Quest 3 here, 500 bucks, basically the price of a console system and you're golden. You're gonna get everything that you need out of this headset and you're gonna love it. I guarantee it. Now, with that being said, my number one headset of all of 2023 and if you have the disposable income to buy it and the PC to run it, I can't recommend this enough, is the Pimax Crystal. And you know, guys, this is it. This is so far to me the pinnacle of PC VR experiences. I have never seen a headset that is this crystal clear. And you do have standalone mode in this. It's, it's kind of not there yet. Uh, there's really not a lot in the store. I know Pimax is working on that, but 
just like the Quest 3, you've got standalone mode, you've got the, the, the full PC VR when connected to the via the cable, which is true display port, so you're going to really get PC VR on it. And you've even got hand tracking, I've got the hand tracking module on it, so obviously not going to be as robust and full of an experience as the Quest 3, but for PC VR for the highest end simulator gaming where you really need to read every little detail in the cockpit on flight simulator or you need to judge those turns in a racing game to really get that feel of realism while you drive, you can't beat this headset right now. I, I, I'm telling you, this has been a complete game changer for me, especially when I'm doing it with sim games. And, you know, it's just getting better. I, you know, they, there's a, I've got a Lighthouse Fates plate coming, so I'm going to be able to use my external Lighthouse tracking from Steam VR. That's really going to help me when I start doing my simulator videos again soon. And look forward to those very soon on the channel. And, you know, Pimax is constantly making software updates. It's got phenomenal off-ear audio. I can't say enough good things about this. So, best headset of 2023 right here, the Pimax Crystal. Now, not the cheapest headset. This is definitely going to set you back some change, okay? But if you want to play, you got to pay, in my opinion. So I will leave links for all of these headsets, including the Quest 2. Still don't recommend that one in the description of the video. And with the Pimax here, I won't lie, I am an affiliate. That's not why I'm judging it the best. Trust me, if you see it, you're going to know. But they're extending a little bit better discount through December right now if you use my code VRGAMERDUDE. So you're going to get 8% off of the headset, which I think comes out to about a $128 discount. And that helps the channel out to grow a little bit. So if you've got to buy one, please use my code. It does help me out and it helps you out. But for me, guys, that's going to do it. I know this was just a talky talk, short, short little video, but I kind of wanted to give you guys my opinions on this. Quest 2, stay away. Quest 3, phenomenal. Does everything that you're going to want it to do. But Pimax Crystal, mind-blowing. Best headset I've ever seen. So, all right, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.